beautiful students. This week's assignment is a little bit different. Um, you're still gonna have a log, but the focus this week is gonna be on cardiovascular endurance and target heart rate. So the goal of this log is to number one, is to understand what your target heart rate zone is. Target heart rate zone. Number two, why is that important to know? And then number three, I want you to know if you are achieving your target heart rate zone when you are performing cardiovascular endurance exercises. So let's explore the, the assignment. So I have a copy right here of the assignment. You don't need to print this, it's on the computer. But I printed this, <clears throat> excuse me, to kind of go over it so you don't have to read through all of that if you don't want to. Okay, so I'm going to read it for you. So the first part says, what is cardiovascular endurance? Cardiovascular endurance is the ability to exercise in aerobic capacity continuously for extended period of time. So think running, walking, biking, okay? So aerobic exercises are exercises that use big muscles and get the heart and lungs pumping to send oxygen to those big muscles throughout your body. All right, you will notice that these types of exercises will make you to start to breathe faster. That's when you know you're doing cardiovascular endurance exercises. You're breathing faster because your body needs more oxygen coming into your lungs and then sending it out to those muscles that you're working. So what are the benefits of cardiovascular endurance exercises? Doing these types of activities regularly will help your entire circulatory system work more efficiently, including your heart. It helps to boost your energy levels, promote better sleep, help maintain a healthy weight, improve your mood and mental health, plus it can be fun. What is your target heart rate zone? We're on the third question there. Your target heart rate zone is 50 to 85% of your maximum heart rate. So you want to be staying in that zone when you're exercising, between 50 to 85% of your max, right? Um, so to keep put that in simpler terms, it's the rate of your heartbeats per minute that you should maintain during your exercises and your workouts. So it's important to know. So if you know your zone, you can take your heart rate and determine if you're exercising enough or not enough or too hard, maybe even. So here's the assignment details about midway through the page. What you're gonna do, this is worth 20 points. Five of those points is for you to calculate your maximum heart rate. Okay, and there's a graph right there. Let me hold that up a little bit better for you. Okay, so you can see my example, and you're gonna put your numbers. All right, so the first is you're gonna figure out what is your max heart rate. It's 220 minus your age. So for mine, that came out to be 178. Then you're going to figure out, okay, now I know my max. What is 50 to 85% of my max? So you can do whatever that first number was times 0.5 in the first column, or column there, third column. And then 178 was mine times 85% or 0.85. And then that's going to give you your range. And you put that in the last one. So you're filling out the yellow portion there. Okay, and then moving on to the directions. Number two. The second thing you're going to do once you know your zone, you're going to perform at least 33, not 30, three cardiovascular exercises during the week and take your heart rate for one minute during or after your exercise. Now you can do this... Um, Here's some instructions here in a little picture, and I'll show you how to do that as well. And then you're gonna enter on the log on the next page your exercise, the duration, and your heart rate into the log, and that part is worth 15 points. That's on the second page. After underneath the log, there is also some examples of different cardiovascular exercises that you can choose. Now, don't forget to warm up. And um, of course, have permission if you're gonna go outside and make sure somebody knows where you are. And of course, follow social distancing and current health guidelines. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do an example and then I'm gonna record it on my chart. So I'll do a time lapse here. You don't wanna watch the whole workout, that's boring. But I'm gonna do a little Zumba workout 
And then I'll show you how to record this and take your heart heartbeat. All right, I finished the workout. I'm gonna take my heart right now. So I'm gonna put my two fingers right along that little tendon there that comes down on the side of my wrist. Okay, I feel it, and I'm gonna time it for 30 seconds, and as I'm timing, I'm counting. Here we go. Okay, that was 30 seconds. So I'm gonna get my chart out here. All right, I counted 45 beats in that amount of time. So it was only 30 seconds. Now we want, it, time it, we want the time of what it would be in one minute. So I'm just gonna multiply that times two. So 45 times two is 90. Now my range was supposed to be 89 to 151. So I was on the low range. So I would write that in there that I got 90 and was I in the range? Yes. But knowing me and knowing <clears throat> my capabilities, I think that was a little low. Now that was a short video. So I probably need to do a couple more videos, really get my heart rate going a little bit better. I did go on a walk yesterday, a brisk walk for 25 minutes. I took my heart rate then and I got 124. Now that's much better, right? But I had gone for 25 minutes. So um, that's something to take into consideration. Your job is to do that at least three times this week. So mine, I had the Zumba. I did my walk yesterday and I would need to do one more thing during the week, record it on the, on the second page there. And then when you're done with that, you're welcome to do more. I mean, you could do four or five, uh, but if you don't want to, if you want to just turn it in, then you can. Now, a lot of you are already doing these exercises throughout the week. If you're already doing them, you know, you don't have to do some of the ideas that I put. Just whatever activities you're doing, just make sure you take your heart rate, add it on your chart. And if you have any questions, let me know. Stay healthy, guys.